KZ Chiefs attempted to take 50 million to sell two of their players. Also going to talk about Walter Msona, the brother of the silent killer, Knowledge Msona, coming to KZ Chiefs and if that makes sense or not. Also going to talk about another player that uh, Chiefs thought and that we think is one of the best to play for KZ Chiefs. But Chiefs apparently were about to give up on him and other things. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo, I am your host, and this this is a school I teach at, but this is also a fans meet and talk about KZ Chiefs. I'm a cool. See? Football club. Right. So there is 20 million rands offer for U Ashley Dupree from SC Victoria that plays in Portugal. And there is also 30 million rands offer for Edson Castillo from North Africa and the Saudis. And now the thing is, what do Kaiser Chiefs do? Because you have to pray who's not been scoring goals, but you know, you're never going to get a performance that is below average in terms of effort, in terms of uh, troubling defenders from Ashley Dupree. If he can get his finishing right, then we're fine. In fact, if he can get his finishing right, play one more season, the price tag on his head could double. Now, the question is, do you sell Dupree or do you keep him? That's a decision that the management has to make. Number two, same thing with Castillo. At his age, do let him go because also he did not end up playing the whole season the way that he arrived. But the argument is, hey, there was no coaching. Or do you keep him and say, let's strengthen our squad since there are also rumors that Chiefs will be in the African Football League. So strengthen our squad so that we can go deep in that competition and get some more money to reinvest and then also you can then sell Lucas Castillo because you'll have replacements. Let me know down in the comment section below. Because the other thing is Umfundo Tigazi, yes, the only one who's playing for Irol AM, his agent has now confirmed that yes indeed, Kaiser Chiefs did inquire about the player last year and they wanted to buy him but then Irol AM offered him a new contract so he stayed. Once again, Kaiser Chiefs still want the guy even this season and now there are still those things of what are we gonna do now because we know you want him and he probably wants to come to your chiefs but there are other nuances there are other things that need to be ironed out with this deal because the problem might not just be selling him but it's also royal m saying who are we gonna replace him with so now they're in that situation where they have to decide do we take the money and just have it or because they're not going to take the money and buy someone else. But I'm going to ask you this. I've asked this question before, before the agent confirmed. Do you think it would be a good idea to even get to Fundo Tigas as Kaiser Chiefs? If you're watching this video to this far before I talk about Umakhalwa, uh, 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 like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying. That's if you're enjoying. If you don't like the video, dislike it. Do one, like or dislike, giving you an option. Kelet Umakhalwa, once again, another player. Uh, who agreed, according to Disky Times, according to, I think it was also Fapos, reporting the fact that agreed to join Kaiser Chiefs in January. And now, since it's June, now apparently Chiefs faces competition from teams like Sekukune United. And we've seen teams like Sekukune United taking players away from Kaiser Chiefs. Kamohelo Mokojo, not taking them away, but competing with Chiefs and taking those players. Abo Victor Letualu, Abo Kamohelo Mokojo, Abo Wepa even. So... These are not teams that are afraid of competing with Chiefs in terms of wanting the same player. He did relatively well at Uppington, but the thing is people will say, ah, or I say, yeah, but it was the lower division. Couldn't hack it in the main division because he was here and he did not do much. So I just wonder if Umahalo is still a good idea for Kaiser Chiefs. Do you think he is? Let me know down in the comment section. Which brings us to three, the final three topics. Now, the first one is... Because the talks about his contract and it being renewed are still up in the air. The question is, should Kaiser Chiefs fold and say, Hi, Kune, uh, yeah, we see you saying you still want to play. We are giving you one more year on your contract. Or do you think they should just say, you know what, we've said this and they maybe offer him, I don't know. Because what do you offer Kune right now? Because Unabi is coming with his own technical team with his own goalkeeper coach what is it that they can offer it to Melenkune to make him stay because historically 
Kaiser Chiefs has not done well with their legends. Like Uputabo Muki right now. What did they offer him in the club? There are other players like Abu Matoho. He did not even get a proper send off game. He was just, people will blame Zwane for that. But the thing is, it's just consistent with most players, Wuti, even on their last game. Even Okune, like he was just given that game, second half, for vibes. But why did he not start the game? Why did he not start the final few games, knowing very well that he might be leaving Chiefs, knowing very well that they are planning not to renew his contract? So I wonder if Chiefs are going to say, you know what, he's a, an offer you can't refuse, go be head of uh, i don't know head of development co, co goalkeeper coaching <laughs> if there's such a thing because i think it's also a valid thing Uguti. we need players or goalkeepers in fact because chiefs historically brian balo rowan fernandez and him and ukuzo as well these keepers or let me just count those three keepers we've been the main keepers that chiefs have been producing and we've never missed all of a sudden managing about vuma Staying on about Peter C. Now there are questions asked about them. So if Kune can go to development and make sure that those keepers who are coming from development are well prepared to be good enough to play for the first team of KZ Chiefs, because right now it's taking. Next up is uh, in the Bagagagagama doubts. So apparently there is no power on Kolama doubts, but apparently KZ Chiefs had doubts regarding Unkosing Pilengob. And I ask myself, I wonder if that's the reason why they waited so long to give him a contract extension. But I con there are some reports suggesting that this contract extension is sort of like a final chance. This is your final chance. This upcoming season being your final year or we're releasing you. Because if we're being honest, Ungobo is such is like one of the best. We talked about Mandla. With Mandla, I mean Guti. He is one player who also carries that potential to replace Utemba Zwane with Bafana Bafana, but it feels like he's just not there. Whether it's being lazy or not wanting to put in the work because he then goes out and he puts the weight and then he only plays few games because he's always injured. Now that's the question. Are they justified if they did have doubts about Ngobo to have those doubts? And if Ngobo doesn't perform this upcoming season and you have an opportunity to release him, would you do it? Let me know down in the comment section. Which leads us to the father, <laughs> the brother of Unole Chimsona Uol. Samsona was played for Isekukuna, I think, in Polokwane City here in SA. And now he's back in Zimbabwe. And his dad's brothers and sisters are not convincing. And yet, he's linked with the move back to Kaiser Chiefs. Reports are saying that there's been no formal offer made for him yet. But there's definitely, definitely and interest and monitoring of all Samson. What do you think about that? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time remember equals Alpelumon.